Hey guys, Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru. Let me show you real quick how to create a dynamic block which can stretch in both directions at the same time. And a great example of this would be a brake line such as this. And just for fun, I'll also show you how to use visibility states because sometimes you may want to use a double brake line and sometimes you might want to use a single. All right, so let's just move this guy out of the way and we're going to start from scratch with some brand new stuff here. So let me just collect polyline and I'm going to create my first little brake line here to there to there let me get rid of my reference line and I'm going to copy this this time with ortho back on down 0.25 okay they're a little lopsided but it's going to have to do all right now let me select them both hit B for block and we're going to call it Brake line. Say OK. And this will be our insertion point right here. OK, so now we have just a regular block. Let's turn it into a dynamic block. And we'll do that by entering the block editor. And on the parameters tab, we're going to choose linear. And start on the left side and go to the right and click. Let me just drag this up a little bit. And you'll notice we have two grips. We only need one. So let me select that parameter. And over here under number of grips, let's change that to one. Okay, now we go to actions, stretch, select the parameter, select the point, create a window and select the geometry and hit enter. Okay, let's see what that looks like so far. Now, so far, that's going to just stretch in one direction, which doesn't help us a whole lot. So let's go back into the block editor and select another stretch command. Same parameter, same stretch point. This time, we will create a window on the left side and select the left side geometry. Let's see what happened there. Save changes. Now, when we select, uh, yeah, that doesn't really help us, does it? It's kind of going crazy. All right, so one more time, let's go back into Block Editor. And let's see where we went wrong. Now, you notice we have two stretch commands over here. I want to choose the second one that we made for the left side. And take a look over here. Angle offset by default at zero. Let's go for 180 and see what happens. Yes, we want to save. And now, all right, works perfectly. Okay, so much for the stretch. Now, let me show you real quick about the visibility situation. Again, let's go into the block editor. And under parameters, visibility, we'll insert it right here alongside the actual insertion point. Click visibility states. I'll rename this first one to single. And then I'll create another one and we'll call it double. Okay, you'll notice those two visibility states I made are now appear in this little drop down over here. So let me just choose single. Then I'm going to select this lower line and I'm going to choose make invisible. And that's really all there is to it. Let's see what happens now when I close the block editor and save. You'll notice only one is visible now. It still stretches like it did before. And now when I hit this drop down, I could turn it into a double. Now granted, you could just create two different blocks. You could have one single, one double. But this saves you a little bit of room in your drawing. It makes your block library a little more clutter-free. And it's just a more elegant way of doing things. Anyway, this has been Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru. Signing off, and oh, don't forget to hit the like button and all that other jazz. See you next time, guys.